continue my video on a flawless foundation routine. This is usually what I do when I'm going somewhere special, like an event or a party or anything like that. Um, this isn't really an everyday foundation routine, so if you'd like a video like that, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe down below, like my video, and you can also follow me on Instagram. Okay, so I already did my eyes, just a simple brown and pink kind of eyeshadow look, and I'm going to be starting off with moisturizing my face. I've actually been trying to kind of move away from using anything that is just full of chemicals and doing more of a natural thing. So I made a DIY facial oil little serum, and if you guys would like to see what goes into my facial oil, how I use it, how often I use it, please leave a comment below. I'd love to make a video about it. So I'm basically just going to use two drops of this for my entire face almost. I'm just going to pat this into my face. You really don't want to rub it in, just kind of pat it in. So for my under eyes, instead of using a traditional eye cream, I'm going to be using castor oil, which I kind of poured into this tiny little box over here. So castor oil for me works miracles. It can be hit or miss because if you put just the right amount, you're going to get so much hydration, it's unbelievable. But if you go a little bit too much castor oil, it's actually going to dry your skin out. So you want to be careful with how much you use. Again, I would love to make a whole skincare routine, so leave me a comment if that's something you'd like to see. But with the castor oil, I'm just going to take the tiniest bit on my fingers, rub my two fingers together, and then just apply it under my eyes. And what I like to do is I like to pat it in. Again, you don't want to rub it. But this is essentially not only going to hydrate, but over time it helps alleviate your dark circles. The puffiness is going to be reduced. Okay, so underneath my eyes, before I put on any foundation, I'm going to go ahead and color correct. As you can see, I have dark circles. I have a lot of um, dark blue, purple pigmentation underneath my eyes probably because of staying up from studying all the time. Um, if you read in my description box, I'm actually a veterinary student, so um, it is not easy. But to animals. get rid of those dark under eyes, I'm going to be using the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. So this is a bright orange concealer, and this is amazing for color correcting. This is really solid and densely packed, so I usually like it on my fingers so I can warm it up. Okay, so the heat of your skin is kind of going to warm it up, maybe easier to work with. And I'm going to put it directly where my dark purple and blue pigmentation is. So this is the correcting concealer. So my eyes are basically orange. The things we do to get flawless foundation. Okay, so next is going to be foundation. I'm going to be using Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. This is a serum foundation, so um, it's completely oil-free, it's paraben-free. I love it. It goes with my whole wanting to be natural thing. And you can go full coverage with this by using anywhere from like four to six drops, but Sometimes for my skin, I feel like two drops is more than enough just to get an even coverage. I do have some um, acne scars over here. It's not really acne scars. They started off as whiteheads and I decided to go at them. So um, I'm going to be using a little bit extra on top of those. About two drops, I'll just spread out on my face. I'll put a little bit near my under eyes. I'm not going to go directly on the concealer itself because I can easily blend it in there. And also I'm going to be going in with um, a regular highlighting concealer too, so there's no reason to have all that extra product near your under eyes. Okay, so this isn't working. I'm just going to put my hair up. Okay, so I'm just going to start blending in the foundation. I like to go in circular motions when I'm blending this in. And simultaneously kind of pushing it into my skin. Okay, so when I get near my under eyes, 
you want to make sure that the orange concealer doesn't budge so I'm not going to be using a swiping motion or even a round motion I'm just going to be pressing it in so this is going to make sure that the orange concealer is going to stay where it is you're still going to see some orange underneath the foundation and that's completely fine because like I said we're going to be going in with um, concealer With Indian skin, it's not always easy to find <clears throat> excuse me, a foundation that's going to you know, match your skin color, not give you a white cast, not make you look ashy. So the Bare Skin line has such a wide variety of colors, it's almost impossible to not find a shade that matches you. Now that foundation is done, I'm going to be moving on to concealer. This is my absolute favorite, favorite concealer. This is the Tarte Maracuja creaseless concealer is that what it's called because it's a little bit on the more dense side it's a it's hard to blend out with a brush so I really like to use either my fingers or my um, beauty sponge to blend it out so I take the tiniest bit and a little bit goes a long way with this concealer but I'm gonna take a tiny bit on my finger and then just put it down in the areas that I would want to conceal so um, normal areas are under my eye and then upside down triangle shape so now that I have my concealer on I'm gonna blend it out using my Real Techniques sponge and this is just gonna be in bouncing motions on your skin you don't want to rub this in again because you're just gonna waste the product So you can already see that <clears throat> that orange is completely wiped out and so is that blue and purple pigmentation that I had. Talk throughs are hard. This is not the easiest thing. Then again, this is literally my second YouTube video. <clears throat> Depending on what I decide, there may or may not be the first video I had initially put up because that was super, super bad quality. But just getting started, don't really have all the right tool. okay so since this is a flawless foundation routine i'm going to be using the baking method to set my concealer especially underneath my eyes the powder that i am obsessed with this is my holy grail is the sasha buttercup powder it is a line for colored skin girls but they also have um a shade for everyone even if you have lighter skin than me so for Baking, I'm just going to tap it into the cup or into the cap. I said cup. So tap it into the cap. This is just a cute little um, Eco Tools brush that I have. So it came in a pack of four. In fact, there's, ooh, there's a few of them. And I actually don't know where the fourth one is, so um, we'll work around that. Before I actually go in and put it on, I'm going to go ahead again with my uh, sponge to make sure I have absolutely no creases or wrinkles or fine lines. I do have fine lines naturally. In fact, let me see if I can show you. So I have fine lines right there. They just always pop up no matter how hard I try. So I'm going to use my sponge again to just make sure that I get rid of that before I go in with the powder. For my under eyes, I'm probably going to let that sit for a good five minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to contour. <clears throat> okay, so for contouring, I'm going to use an eyeshadow as a base. This is the NYX Over the Taupe eyeshadow. And this is really good for contouring because it basically imitates the natural shadows deep set cheekbones would cast. Okay, so I don't really know if I mentioned this before, but I don't really do my eyebrows. It's just a personal preference. I already wear enough makeup as it is, so I kind of like the way they look. 
just naturally. So all I do is I go in with a little bit of makeup remover on my fingers and then wipe them down to just make sure there's no powder or concealer or any of that gunk sticking onto them. So I'm now I'm going to go in with a bronzer and just kind of bronze up my face. I'm going to be using the Tarte Park Ave or Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. So it looks like that. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did the rest of my makeup off camera. It's the finished video. This is my flawless foundation routine. Please hit subscribe and like the video below. Leave as many comments as you want. I would love to read through what you guys are thinking and if you have any questions for me or ideas for my next video. But other than that, this is it. Hope you guys liked it. Doesn't match you, whatever. Ugh, posing is so hard. Why is this so hard?